Pisces, gang, gang, gang in the building. How are you all? I am here to do the April mid-month. This will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If you have Pisces placement, this may resonate with you. But keep in mind, this is general, so it would not resonate with everyone. Also, energy, time, and gender is fluid, so cross-watchers, you are welcome. If it does resonate with you, like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, hit the notification bell, positive comments only. Also, if you'd like to donate to the channel or book a personal reading with me, that information will be in the description box. So let's see. Let's get it started, Pisces. All right. Messages for my Pisces. I'm going to start off with my Lenormand. Let's start off with this Lenormand deck, honey. Well, it seems like the Lenormand, but it's the Clock Tower deck. Okay. All right. Messages. For my Pisces. Pisces, you got the cross. Hmm. Six of Wands. The Garden. Okay. And you have to do one more for my Pisces. Something is flourishing for you, Pisces. I'm picking it up like something is flourishing for you and that's because i'm hearing let go and let god like you let god handle <laughs> handle your issues you release in here the cross is you is like you releasing some type of burden home that stability that security you're planning like that stability in your life right now you also too you could be um going through this type of energy where you could be meeting a King of Cups here with this King of Hearts. Someone that's want to build a home with you. They want to plant their seeds there. Some of you all could be at a crossroads too. Is what I'm picking up as well. Let's see. What's going on here? Messages for my Pisces. Please. Messages. Two cars came out. The coffin. Woo. And great fortune. Oh my God. I feel like your luck, your luck is about to change here. Or something is changing here. And that's because you're releasing something with this cross. Like the burdens, the worries that you had in the past, you're putting an end to that. It's like you're putting uh you're putting a nail, the final nail in the coffin. Which is a good thing because you're coming across some type of abundance. Like I said, that house card is like security. That could be a new home. That can be new love. This can also be abundance, prosperity as well. It's a seed that you're planting that's going to come into fruition here. But you had to release some type of burdens. You had to release that. Okay, so let's get some messages. Let's see what's going on for my Pisces here. Messages for my Pisces, please. Pisces, the Five of Swords. Air sign energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like you released this burden of other people that was, bring, that was playing mind games with you. This is somebody that wanted to win at all costs. I feel like this person could have a lie to you, lie on you. It's something about a lie here. Something about a lie here. I feel like you found out that this person was blowing smoke or giving you smoke and mirrors here with this five of swords. The temperance. And now you have found your balance. I feel like a lot of you all are definitely pouring back into your own cup now. Also, too, I'm getting with this five of swords like you got that winning by any means mentality like you're not trying to hurt anyone but at the same time you have that tunnel vision where like anyone can get it i'm getting like anybody can get it you come and mess with my peace of mind you come and mess with my tranquility you can get it at this point you messing with my security and my prosperity you can get it period period 
the two of wands doors are opening up for you which road would you take which direction will you go with this two of wands this is all about making a decision but also taking action towards that decision here you're definitely in a position to where you can make that choice and move forward. Are you going to stay behind this gate? Or are you going to open that gate up and go through to get your abundance, get, to get your wealth here? And it doesn't necessarily mean money. It could be spiritual wealth. You know what I'm saying? Emotional wealth here. But I feel like you're definitely making a decision. Some of you all could be planning on traveling or planning your travels now. Oh, the Hierophant. <laughs> Taurus energy are you opening a door to a marriage a higher level of commitment if not you're opening uh, this gate up to your spirituality some of you are becoming more spiritual more intuitive here I'm also getting like business here a government organization as well I'm picking up a business grant here some of you all could be successful in your businesses if you start one if you create one, you would definitely be successful. But this is also my marriage card. And it's going to be emotional fulfillment here. Then at the bottom of the deck, the sun. Damn, Pisces. Who you met? That's why they're trying to block you. I, I'm getting there. Like you got somebody. This could be somebody from your past too. They're trying to block you in some type of way. They're trying to manipulate you. So they may lie to you to get to get you to either return to them or to accept some type of apology or offering. And that's because they know that you're moving forward. You're very content right now. You're focusing on your own happiness, your wish fulfillment here. A lot of you all like to drink too. Or sip wine, maybe liquor, but you know, you're definitely enjoying the fruits of your labor as you should, especially with that garden card. Okay, give me some messages for Pisces. You got the nine of wands. It wasn't easy getting there though. And that's what they fail to realize here. I feel like your persistence and your consistency is what got you to this point. It wasn't easy getting here. But this nine of wands, this is someone that has been hurt, that's been wounded, that's been betrayed, that's been battered in some type of way. But yet they're moving forward. They're being persistent. They're pushing past their pain. See, they don't see that part. That's that's what I don't get about certain, you know, about some people. They see this. They see you enjoying the fruits of your labor, but they're not paying attention of the trials and the tribulations and the obstacles and the dead ends that you had to get, that you had to go through to get there. They're not seeing that. They're only seeing the finished product. Typical. Typical. Leave some messages for my Pisces. See what I'm saying? They only seeing like how you looking on the outside now. You looking good. You feeling good. So now they want to come in and try to screw you over. This could be a fire sign here. I got Sagittarius energy. This could also be, air, I'm getting heavy air placements here. Somebody is trying to cheat you or uh, try to get one over on you is what I'm getting here. Lying, deceiving, stealing, trying to get away with something here. And that's because they see you winning. They see that you're being fulfilled. You're satisfied. You're content without them. Be careful because I feel like someone wants to come in and try to deceive you. Pull the wool over your eyes here. And that's because they see you being very prosperous on your own. Like you're being more independent here. You're being successful. Yeah. The will. The will of fortune. Also, too, they need to be careful because I feel like you dealing, you messing with the wrong one here with this will of fortune. This I'm picking up heavy karma from this will. I feel like the the will is definitely turning in your favor, Pisces. But whoever's trying to come in with this seven of swords energy, they're gonna get some karma, so they might want to be careful. They might want to stand down on this one. And they might want to stand down with this will of fortune. This is also some positive changes. Like I said, blessings are coming towards you. The will is turning in your favor. The tower could be a Scorpio in this equation here. This person wasn't expecting you to bounce back. This person wasn't expecting you to overcome those obstacles that they put in your way. Those traps. You get what I'm saying? They weren't expecting you to overcome that. And that's their rude awakening here with this tower card. That's their rude awakening. 
They didn't expect that. Yeah, judgment. They're being judged right now. I feel like the spirit, God, whoever you believe in, I tell anybody, you can do whatever you want in the dark, but God sees all. Somebody here is, is receiving some karma. I also feel like someone wants to revitalize the situation, like they want a second chance here, but they know that they caused, they could have caused a tower moment in your life where you had to reveal, but you coming back stronger and better. And now they're trying to slide their way in with this deceptive ass energy to get back in your good graces. And this don't necessarily have to be a lover. This could be a friend. This could be a family member. Yeah, you resting. You chill. You have peace here. And that's because you removed them out of your life. The four swords is you reevaluating, getting that rest in, replenishing, thinking of your next move. What's the next steps? What's the next plans here? Yeah. Preparing yourself. I'm also saying prepare. I'm also hearing preparing for battle. I feel like you know that somebody is trying to return to you. So you prepping yourself. You get prepared here. <laughs> like, okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Ten of swords. It's a lot of air energy here. You preparing for this battle because you know this person is trying to return. You already feel it. I feel like you feel it as well. But they only coming to stab you in your back. That's the crazy part. Like somebody is coming just to either rain on your parade or they're trying to stab you in the back or hurt you in some type of way. It's like they don't want you to be fulfilled. They don't want you to be content. Somebody is not feeling you being content right here. And this is someone you had put an end into. Like you no longer talk to this person. I'm glad you don't. I really am. I'm glad you don't. Let's get some messages for my Pisces, please. Messages for my Pisces. Pisces, you got growth all summer 21. You're definitely going through a growth phase at this time. I feel like you're planting seeds now. You're going to see some type of growth and expansion in the summertime here. I like that energy. What is this? Mercury messages, travel, communication. So I'm telling you, somebody's trying to come back in because they see you being successful. They see that you're being well off on your own. They see that you have uh you have rose above whatever type of obstacle they sent your way. I feel like you was dealing with someone that intentionally tried to hurt you so it can knock you off of your goals or knock you off of your path here. But it didn't work. Yeah, it hurt you, but it didn't work. Like, you you definitely um, persevered through this. Yeah. Now you're more structured. You got a solid foundation here. Somebody's trying to knock your foundation. Somebody's trying to knock you off your square here, Pisces. So be, be careful, April, mid-month. Like, somebody's trying to mess with your structure and your foundation. Your stability. Your harmony. Your peace. Your flow. They're trying to, they're trying to interrupt that. And that's because they don't have it in their life. See, you don't release the burdens of this person. Now they got to carry their own burdens and they're not feeling it. It's weighing too heavy on them. Whoever you was dealing with, you were sharing their burdens. And I feel like you realize it. And now you're moving away from it. Give me some messages for my Pisces, please. Feeling alone. This person is feeling lonely without you, but I feel like when they had you in your in their life, you, they made you feel alone. They made you feel like you was doing this on your own. They made it feel like you was just the only person in this connection, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, family. They made you feel like you was the only one doing the work here. Now they're feeling it. I told you somebody's trying to reach out, but I, don't, I wouldn't trust their ass. I would not trust them. And via phone, they could be text messages, phone calls, DMs, messenger, WhatsApp. I don't give a damn. They're, gonna, they're trying to reach out in some type of way here. Give me one more. Temptation. This is a test. This is a test, Pisces, that you're going to pass. You're going to pass. They're trying to tempt you here. 
at one point in time, this person was your weakness, not anymore. I feel like you have gained that structure and that discipline here. They're no longer your temptation. You know how to turn them down. This person wants to come in and rock your foundation here. Like they're trying to, they're trying to get you unstable in some type of way. Bring some type of discord in your life because they see you doing good without them. Give me an animal card for my Pisces. Octopus. <laughs> you got the octopus. It says. Practice shape-shifting by altering your physical appearance and mannerism. Yeah, some of you all done glue up. Yeah, let me tell you something about Pisces. Y'all are some professional shape-shifters, myself included. Y'all can really adapt to any environment, any situation. They weren't expecting that. They weren't expecting you to adapt. They was expecting you to fall from grace in some type of way. They was expecting you to kind of like get off of your rock or your square in some type of way here. But what you did was rose to the occasion and adapt. They didn't see that coming. They wasn't, they wasn't expecting that. Some of you all have did a 360 on your looks, the way you talk, the way you act, like your mannerism has changed. You're more confident. You speak with assertiveness now. Like they was not expecting that. Some of you all have lost a few pounds. You're feeling yourself. You done changed up your hair color. I'm even hearing changing your toenail colors. Like you have switched it up completely. Like they're looking like, who is this person? This is not the same person I left. <laughs> or I or I walked away from. Mm. They're lost. Okay, if this resonated, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Talk to you guys later. Bye.